Well, this is going to be somewhat of a new video, guys. This is uh, Nick here at the Detail Garage. We've got Arthur, we've got Henry who are packing away Santa's sled, but we have a quick tip on how to restore your exterior trim as well as your side steps. So this Toyota 4Runner came into the shop and the owner of it, she drives it every day. And we recently had some rain, which collected a lot of dirt and mud on top of the side step here. So we're just gonna show you a real quick, simple way to remove the dirt as well as protect it to prevent any kind of future damage or staining. So let's get started. So to begin, we're just gonna use some Nonsense, which is an all-purpose cleaner that you can use on interior and exterior surfaces, as well as one of our large all-in-the-detail brushes. Simply spray it into the surface and also onto what you're working on. And then what we're gonna do is activate it or help agitate it to get that foaming action going. And this releases the dirt that's in the pores of the surface. I know a lot of you guys who have off-road vehicles or even daily driven vehicles that have these kind of exterior trim pieces, they get muddy or they get stained and it's hard to revive that deep glossy finish. So this is basically what we're going for is to remove the dirt and extract any kind of foreign material. And the brush helps to do that without having to scrub with a sponge or using a towel. It's going to help to lift off any kind of contamination. Because one, we need it to be really clean before we put on any kind of dressing, but also to remove any kind of stains or any light scuffs you gotta get all the dirt off of it to begin. And the brush helps to do that with its mild abrasive bristles. I'm just gonna take a clean micro towel and wipe off the spent product. All the dirt that was sitting on top of there. What was that? You want to make sure it's thoroughly dry before you put on any kind of dressings either because a lot of people wonder why the dressings don't last or they seem to run off or get slippery. It's because the surface either wasn't prepped right or it wasn't dried all the way thoroughly. So using a clean microfiber towel or even two if necessary is recommended so that you can get all of the spent product off as well as any kind of dirt and grime that you were just cleaning away. This way you can get that long lasting finish. And since this is a side step, which is not necessarily a control surface, but it's something that people will step on, we don't want this to be slippery. So I'm going to use a water-based dressing, which is VRP, which stands for vinyl, rubber, and plastic. And it's an interior and exterior dressing for basically anything around the vehicle. This gives it more of a natural look, but it's going to protect it against harmful UV rays or harsh elements. It also revives that deep glossy finish. So we're just going to apply a couple lines to the applicator pad. That should be plenty. Start by spreading it out, and then we'll spread it over the surface. And you're working it into the plastic or the vinyl or whatever you're working on, basically. And it will absorb it. And as long as it was prepped properly, this will last a couple of weeks. And you can reapply as necessary or multiple coats. And now you have that deep gloss finish which is going to repel any kind of harmful UV rays to, again, help it look its best, but also to prevent any kind of damage like discoloration or cracking over time. And I'll take off the tape here to give you guys that before and after, a little 50-50. Oh my goodness gracious. And there you have it guys. I know this is a pretty short video, but this is a quick tip that anybody can do. And it's something that we probably all overlook because you know, we get busy with the exterior of the vehicle look really nice and then things like this get overlooked. So if you haven't done this already, this is a great idea, especially with winter coming up, we're gonna have road salt or any kind of really harmful elements beating down on your exterior trim. This is something to keep it cracking and discoloring and fading. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop your comments down below for future videos. If you want to check out these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage, and we'll see you next time. Also, what we've never done before, guys, is I know we've dressed this side, but we left this side dirty before the comparison, but I'm gonna clean it just to show you what it looks like even when there's no dirt on the surface. So, again, with the nonsense. 
And although this bottle looks full, it's actually been diluted 10 to 1 for a cleaning job such as this. And also, if you're wondering how to dilute this, these bottles have a ratchet style uh, locking neck. So basically, just squeeze the side of the neck together, and that's going to unlock the ratchet. And then you unscrew as normal, and then you can dilute it to whatever desired dilution ratio. Just take this towel here. So now you have dirty, you have clean and dry, and then you also have dress. So this will give you a little bit of perspective of what exactly the dressing is doing. It's not only making it look better, looking deeper and darker, but it's also going to protect against the harmful UV rays, and it's going to help it last as long as possible.